The alpine newt lives on land for about half the year, hunting for slugs and worms. In winter, they lie dormant beneath the snow, but come the spring, they get the urge to breed. A female is swollen with eggs and needs to lay, so she has to go back to water. And there, a male is awaiting her. He has already developed his breeding colours and knows how to flaunt them to impress her. He wafts a pheromone, a sexual stimulant, towards her with beats of his tail. senses it through her nostrils. She tastes it in her mouth. Having caught her interest, he turns and moves away from her. His genital opening is greatly swollen, and from it comes a small white capsule. It's a packet of sperm. The female, led by the male, walks directly over it. He stops, and so does she, with her genital opening exactly above the sperm packet, and she picks it up. So, as in many fish, mating occurs with little or no physical contact between the two partners. Two or three days later, she begins to lay. Each of her eggs is deposited individually. As an egg emerges, she wraps the leaf around it with her hind legs and then holds it there while the edges bond. She will lay several eggs a day for week after week until eventually she may have produced several hundred. But all this has to be done in water. She has still not broken her link with her fishy ancestry. <laughs> 